Honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl, my beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly bonus tarot reading. I also do your weekly journal reading, which are much longer readings, and I'll leave a link somewhere above for you to check out, Virgo. But when it comes to my readings, if you enjoy these readings, let me know in the comments below uh, which cards resonate, how they do. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, uh, Virgo, and I am super appreciative. And remember to use your intuition, Virgo, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man uh, using some tarot cards, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate, leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended. When it comes to my tarot readings, Virgo, they're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the decision in your life, because it is your life to live, my beautiful Virgo, not mine, not these tarot cards, nobody. So let's just get into your weekly bonus tarot reading today, my beautiful Virgo. Howdy, Virgo. So I, want, I know we pulled those cards and y'all saw them on the table, but I still like to break them down and show y'all in just sections when I go through the tarot. So I'm going to go over your Empress card, your Hermit card, I also have lots of major arcana for you, Virgo. The Magician card with the Nine of Wands card. So, Virgo, honey, <laughs> y'all are doing the dang thing. Um, or at least I see you guys building up the momentum to be doing the dang thing. Uh, this probably has stirred from a little bit of uh, like this motivation, this, um, how would we say, Virgo, this... Uh, what is this? What is the word I'm trying to think of? It's just like you're feeling inspired or feeling uh, there's like a spark or a flame like lit under you because of a situation. I kind of get the sense that it was a little bit reactionary because you are in this hermiting place, right? So this hermiting place is really what defines all of this uh, ambitious energy uh, that is going on for you right now because... Um, if this was like a chariot card or a more extroverted card, I would just be like, oh, okay, like you're just feeling inspired. But with this, it's almost like something happened, Virgo, that kind of made you realize you have to take something serious, like whatever this thing is, or maybe just like you're taking yourself more seriously, you're taking uh, life more seriously. Maybe for some of you Virgos, uh, you are just like now being like, you're just now cracking down and being like, all right, I need to hold myself accountable. I need to really do the things that I need to do to take me to the places that I want to be. Does that make sense, Virgo? And so with this Hermiting card, I kind of just feel like something happened and you were just like, ooh, right? Uh, there's some type of scare. You're just like, you know, let's just use this simplistic example to give, to relate the message of the cards, Virgo. Let's just say you had a, um, Something happened, like your car broke down or just an une uh, unexpected expense that you had to make and then, uh, or charge, right? And then you're put in this place and you're like, ooh, I gotta do something about this now. Because with this Empress card here, um, you're building character through this whole process. And so usually with this Empress card, like you're giving birth to your dreams, right? That's what normally the Empress is just like famously known for. But I also kind of just see the Empress on a personal level in a place where you're, the Empress is like really in tune with the universe. I kind of like to, this is all intuitive, uh, Virgo. But uh, I like to see this as the individual who is like, getting beaten up by the universe a little bit and they're just being the empress and allowing that to uh empower them Virgo and I kind of see that as you where you feel beaten up in some type of situation and rather than uh feeling sorry for yourself and reclusing and feeling pessimistic um I see you kind of again still going reclusing but you're just like you know what I'm not gonna let this defeat me right um, because then you start acknowledging that with this Nine of Wands, this is the, it's funny how the Nine of Wands keeps coming up, actually. It's, I always enjoy doing the weekly readings now, uh, for the Zodiac Signs Virgo, because it's like, a keeping up with storylines. 
with people and it's just so interesting how the energy just is now like so many zodiac signs are starting to coincide with their path i feel as if like a lot of people at this time virgo are really like almost feeling like they're all everyone's kind of going through like their own gauntlet i like to say where it's like a lot of people are in like their final stretch and about to make this transition i know that's such a catchy word right that everyone uses like making this final like stretch of, tra of a transition to do so, like to where like your life's gonna be completely different right in a sense of where it's like you know you've been working so hard at like some type of goal right you're just like now you have to take yourself more seriously or take this job more seriously so now you're just like you know what like i started with this etsy business but let me start like taking it higher let me start creating something even bigger from it you know this etsy business it's fine and dandy and all but this situation here this gauntlet that you're experiencing this like medical scare like some type of i will just say like some type of scare something that really like uh, knocked you down or like humbled you or made a very sobering moment we'll say um here um makes you be just like even though even if you were in a good place before and like you were having progression with what you were doing before virgo now it's like um something's just you were a lot life honey use your words Valka. a fire has been lit under you and you're just like no i need to take it to that next level i need to take that etsy business and now i need to make a website you know i've been doing blog posts now i need to start considering writing books and publishing books um very much so in this way that's what i mean by like it does like that final transition to changing things up completely differently not in a sense of where it's just like this newfound life i have to catch myself with like the big words that i use but um just in that sense i feel like i hope that makes sense for a I feel like it does. I feel like you get it. Um, but then let's get into your secondary cards. We have the King of Pentacles coming in for you, the Nine of Swords, the Sun card, and then the Five of Wands. So I am going to be honest, Virgo. You know, this is where, in this is like the actual, like, where you have to be honest moment as a tarot reader. I. I really commend all this passion and I'm really happy that you're having this passion and really adding structure and just allowing it to, uh, um, you're just really pushing yourself. But, and I hope this doesn't dissuade you, but I have to just like be honest in the sense that um, I like to keep my peeps prepared, right? And I feel like if you're prepared for situations, then it's a lot easier to take it with stride and to keep it going. Um, I see for a little bit more, you're going to have to, like, for your gauntlet, like, you're in the final bits, Virgo, but being in the final bit of that final stretch or what have you, I still kind of feel like, um, not necessarily, like, anything extra is going to happen, Virgo, but I do see this sense of where really you need to watch yourself with your anxiety, right? Because I do feel as if you could manifest uh, things, like more like havoc in your life if you really allow this to spiral my nine of swords is that sleepless nights this anxious card here and my five of wands is my conflict card here so you even while you're going through this journey while you're finishing up this gauntlet virgo if you're stressing out um i see you like stressing out and having like there's almost like certain things just hanging over your head and um for some of you uh you could kind of see this as like a foreshadowing where it's like some stuff is just like if you know basically what i'm trying to say virgo is like if you know you're not normally like an anxious person and like where you have like things just hanging over your head you can this kind of like gives me like the sense a sign of where it's just like okay like maybe like something's happening that causes you to have this anxiety um so you might be seeing signs of it so that's like a heads up that i'm trying to say uh virgo but if you know yourself, Virgo, you know you're already an anxious person. Um, this is more so just like a warning for you to that you not really catch yourself in these spirals because I really see you, if you really stress too much about these situations, that's what you're going to end up manifesting, right? You have the Sun card and the King of Pentacles. So the manifestation energies are high, honey, right? Regardless of what it is you believe in, Virgo, um, you're with all this like, um, ramped up energy that you have here um it's going to reflect with your thoughts like your thoughts are energy everything's energy and so 
in that time, you know, you have to catch your thoughts and make sure that you are, you know, just being as optimistic as you can so you can uh, chase after this uh, stable uh, happiness, right? Where you have it all, where you no longer have to worry about your, no longer like your health, but also like your finances, right? Um, do not, do not let your current stresses, whatever puts you in this state, uh, Virgo, do not let it take hold of you and have it be a personality trait for you or have it be like your, do not allow this thing to be a, to scar, to scar you. Does that make sense? Because I kind of see this kind of potentially carrying over and uh, just hanging above you if you don't catch yourself in it. But um, yeah, I hope this reading makes sense for you, Virgo. Hopefully this uh, didn't give you guys too much anxiety. Oh, hope, honestly, honey, I hope it didn't give you any anxiety. I really hope that this reading kind of makes you feel a lot more prepared to uh, take on uh, the rest of your days. You totally have this for a girl, you know, just keep, you know, just keep your, keep that positive mindset, you know, be prepared for some little bit more bumps in the road, but nothing too serious, right? We didn't get like a tower card. We didn't get like a, de a death card or anything like that. We didn't get like a three of swords, right? It's just like potential conflict that you could have. And really more so just like stuff that could just stress you out more so than anything. Um, but you're still going to be having that beautiful ending, right? That King of Pentacles in this sun card right this is all really positive like high abundant energy right you just want to make sure you're utilizing it to the right things right virgo but that's the tarot readings that i tarot cards honey that i have for you virgo i hope you enjoyed this reading and you found some cards that resonate with you if you did be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and also remember to check out my uh weekly uh virgo tarot reading that i do for you each week uh virgo so you can get a more in-depth reading but i love you so much virgo and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future